What's up, YouTube? That Neon Chino here again for another daily video. So today we're doing a blow-off valve install. So awesome enough, one of my fans sent me a genuine Greddy blow-off valve. Again, shout out to you, Michael Burns, for sending me this sick-ass blow-off valve. Real nice quality, you know, it's like almost a $200 blow-off valve right here, so it's pretty sick. Um, I want HKS. Eventually I'll get one of those, and then we'll hand that down to Shay when she does her SRT swap. Uh, right now I have myself a eBay gritty. We're going to remove that and install the, the gritty. So let me get a couple of tools and I'll be right back. And honestly guys, all you're going to need is a 10 millimeter wrench. Bang. I got me my little 10 millimeter wrench. And this is also going to be a little how-to for SRT4s. So on an SRT4 or a PTGT cruiser, you want to install a blow-off valve. There will be this pipe in your intake coming from your throttle body. There will be a sensor in here and a vacuum line. You're going to, uh, it's going to have these two little plastic rings that go around it. You're going to want to push those in towards... The, uh, the middle of the pipe, so you'll push that in and then your inner core pipe will pop off. Your PT Cruiser one will be installed here and your SRT4 one will be installed down here. Move this out of the way and you'll have a vacuum line in the sensor. The sensor you can get uh, a hole in your pipe where you can reinstall your sensor. I just leave them out because you don't need them unless check engine lights bother you. They don't bother me. So to remove this blow off valve, you're going to need your 10 millimeter wrench and you're going to want to remove this uh these little tens right here it's all i'm gonna need if you're with a stock srt4 or a stock ptgt you just need to uh get yourself this pipe but luckily i had uh this pipe sitting around and i got this blow off owl from a friend in a trade i traded him something i forget but uh uh i'm gonna remove this real quick Let me remove this and I'll be right actually. Just want to throw this out here just because anybody who hadn't seen it, and if you guys watch uh, Racer Miata, Racer Miata had a live stream the other night. It would have been, today is the 20th, so it was the 19th. He had a live stream last night. And uh, he was looking for somebody to rap for him so me joe i'm sitting there watching his last year he called like three different people off of his dms that asked him he asked him to rap and neither none of them could rap for him they all had like an excuse one guy tried to like sing some eminem and like he was like oh you gotta give me some warning before i can rap and like whatever dude so i was like you know what fuck it maybe i can get a shout out of it so I was like, I DM'd him, I said, dude, if you want to rap, hit me up. You know, give me a chance. And I gave him, like, a little, my first little verse. So, I'm sitting watching his live stream, he's like, you know what, I'm going to give this guy a chance. And he said, that Neon Channel, or he said, the Neon Channel. I said it wrong like everybody else. And, uh, got the blow-off valve off. Let me finish this little story. Uh, he, he uh, calls me up, and, uh, he throws me straight under the bus, dude. Throws me right under the bus you know he says yeah uh i'm like what's up dude he's like i heard you got beef with dan i'm like i thought you called me the rat and i said i ain't got no beef with dan i just disagree with him asking his fans that he just met you know he just started his youtube channel less than a week and he asked him for 10 g's to start a shop you know some random dude Nothing in return, no decals, nothing, you know. If it was me, I would have auctioned off my car to my fans, you know, my Miata that he was building or something, sell a car. I'd have made the money somehow, you know. I wouldn't have asked my fans for fans for 10 grand when I just met them, you know. But whatever, that's beside the point. I throw my little rap down for Rice and Miata. Unfortunately, he deleted the live stream video. I was hoping he would have kept it. But uh, here's how it went. I said, yo, Rice and Miata, your star of the show. People, you know you wherever you go. You've had more cars than anybody I know, but that's awesome because that's everything you know. I don't know how to do this, but here it goes. Shout out that Neon channel. You helped me get to 10K because, bitch, I'm broke. 
been why I've been doing this for a year because I've seen you on the Haggard Queers. And that's all I had, but I could keep going if I wanted to. But that was random, you know, off the top of my head, throw down a rap. I mean, I call it a rap. People say it was like, sounded like a poem. To me, I think raps and poems are the same. You know, I don't like rap music. I, I listen to it, but I, I mean, I don't prefer I prefer listening to rock, but honestly, I don't listen to any music. I listen to it all, but I, I, I really don't care for music that much. You know, people might think I'm crazy. But back to this install. I just thought that was crazy that he throws me under the bus like that. But Tommy, you know, his buddy, F, Tommy F, yeah, shout out to his channel. He agreed with me. That it's weird to ask your fans off of a GoFundMe for 10 G's with nothing in return. No stickers. Nothing. You know. At least Tommy. He didn't even ask his fans for money. And he's giving a car away for 10,000 subscribers. What did Dan do? Nothing. Wow. He gave away a turbo kit. His fucking manifold is already snapped. But whatever. Besides the point. You know. He's a hard working guy. You know. He, he knows some shit. You know. He's smart. But to ask for 10 grand is a lot of money. But back to this install video. I don't know if you guys watched Rice and Meow, so that was it. So yeah, we're gonna install this nice gritty blow up out. Luckily, this thing has a built-in gasket right here, a rubber gasket. So I don't think I need that gasket that came with it, wherever it's at. Oh, here it is. I'm gonna see if it'll go in there. Probably just leave it off though. But um, yeah, we're gonna install that. But I'm going to stop this, and I'm going to do a, uh, actually, we'll just, I don't know. I'll be right back. All right, guys, so we got this gritty here. I just put some fresh Teflon tape up on this nipple, whatever you want to call it. And I'm going to reinstall it, and then we're going to install it in the car. So I'll be right back. Okay, so vacuum line is installed. And... Now we're going to install it on the car. So, I'm going to set this bitch up. Hopefully that's good enough. I'm going to try it with and without the gasket real quick. I don't think I need the gasket since I have that uh, rubber O-ring, but never can be too safe. So we have this gasket here. So that will go on the wastegate itself. I mean, the blow up out so. And another thing Michael told me, it's because I told you guys, I don't know everything. I know a good bit, but I don't know everything. So he told me that the blow up out should always point down so nothing gets caught up inside of it. Which makes sense. I just never knew that. So now I know. Let me just through here. Stick it on here and. It down. I'm pretty sure this probably isn't a genuine gritty, uh, what's it called, a uh, flange, but it works, and I think this gas is going to work, can't ever be too safe. Definitely a quality blow off now. Can't wait to get a real tune. Mega Squirt. I have another fan that wants to hook me up with that. I gotta go help him do a time about head gas going in this girl's car. Which is a 420A engine, and I'm I'm pretty darn good with those motors, so it's worth it to me, honestly. I can't afford a Mega Squirt. I'm hoping it'll work. If it don't, like I said, I'll use it on my 240. I don't see why I wouldn't though, but I I know the neons are weird and they gotta use special shit. But it's one of those do-it-yourself ones. Actually, the funny part about it, it's uh cams off of Haggard Garage the guy uh, he bought it off cam for a hundred bucks and he's gonna give it to me for about the same exact price I want to tilt it a little bit so I can see it I like seeing that little gritty sign right there 
That should be good. We'll fire it up, make sure it's not leaking. Probably should have used those bolts he sent me, but maybe next time. It's nice and tight now. Now you gotta install your vacuum line. You can put it right on this top nipple. And you adjust it with this little screw right here. He said he set it to stock. That's what I got here, stock setup. I'm, uh, my boost is set to eight pounds. We're about to turn it up to 12. And that's where we're gonna leave it. So let's fire this thing up and see how she sounds. Put this to the side. Again, this is this is a really easy install. This is two nice bolts he sent me. Move my rinse out of the way. Fire this bad boy up. And we need a key. Grab my key real quick. For some reason, I don't know why, that thing makes me double pull it. Sometimes it's triple pull. I like to prime the fuel pump. Let's go out here and see if she's uh, leaking through. That chatter noise you hear is the blow off valve. Yeah, I mean the uh, transmission. Nope, no leaking. The other one, you could feel the air just bleeding right through it. We'll let it warm up for a couple minutes and we'll give her a couple whoosh whoosh noises. She's idling a little high for some reason. Can't wait to get a real mega squirt on this bitch. Usually I have no problem getting a nice air fuel. 13.5 is not too bad. It was 14.8, I don't know why. I uh, just changed the blow off now, that might be why. It's actually holding boots now. I want to turn the wastegate up a little bit, turn the, the fuel pressure down a little bit. I got my uh, tool here somewhere. See, look, now it's back up to 14, 15, 15. So, I'm going to turn this thing back down to 10. That's probably a little too low. I think it was 12. Yep, right there, 14, 8, 14, 9. That's good enough for me. Let it warm up just for a couple more minutes. Got plenty of oil pressure. That training sounds terrible. I'll show you. I'll push the clutch in and it'll go away. It's completely quiet now. It's a blur up there. I always get mad at As you guys can see, I detailed my engine bay yesterday. It looks so nice and clean. Like, it's cleaner than it's ever been. Valve cover is nice and clean. Everything is clean. Awesome. Make sure this fuel ain't leaking. I want to turn my fuel pressure down a little bit, I think. Hey, she's working, though. I don't know if you can hear that blow off valve, though. <laughs> Sounds good enough to me. Alright guys, so that's how you install a blow-off valve on your Turbo Neon, your SRT4, your PT GT Cruiser. So, if you enjoyed that video, as always, remember to hit that thumbs up. I don't know everything, but I know a good bit about Neons. I know a good bit about 240s, PT Cruisers, Hondas. It's called that Neon channel because... I own neons and I mostly know neons, but we know a little bit more than just neons around here. So, um, you know, 
Hit that subscribe button if you like watching videos every day. We post videos Monday through Friday. Um, you know, uh, follow us on Facebook and Instagram. Mine's that neon channel, all one word, underscore 2.0. Shay's is that underscore neon underscore channel. That's our Instagram. Our Facebook is that neon channel, Joseph Shaler. Um, Everything will be in the description below. I want you guys to send me pictures and videos of your Neons or your 240s or any car you guys got. Send me pictures and videos of them. I want to see them. Um, my email address is in the description below. And uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow for another daily video. Because we post videos Monday through Friday. Unless this is posted on a Friday, which I doubt it. But, uh, yeah. Hit that thumbs up for me. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace out. Have a good one. And, uh... Always build something cool. Peace.